nutrients are plant nutrients, the, you know, the things we give plants to help them grow. But when they get into water, they also stimulate plant growth in water, which leads to an array of ecological problems. So we get ecological impairments, which are very, very severe in water. Probably the best known example in the U.S., the Chesapeake Bay, which is a severely impaired resource, or has been severely impaired because of nutrient pollution. Jim sent out an article that was talking about wicked problems. So the more you look into it, the more problems you discover and the more things that you need to figure out along the way. And I think this falls into that. We have a lot of different researchers and a lot of different stakeholders coming together from the various parts of this wicked problem. So nutrient pollution really is the leading water quality problem we have these days in the U.S. And many communities want to address the problem in their watersheds, but they do not have the tools they need to do that. So what we're trying to do is develop tools that will help them out at the community watershed scale.